Hi, welcome to Warrior Pride International. I welcome you all over uh, the world who are uh, watching this podcast. I just want to bless every each one of you. And uh, this uh, title of this prophetic word I received uh, on the on the twenty sixth of uh, March. March. <laughs> I had to have help because sometimes I, when when I uh, only write the um, the numbers, I can I have just have to like counting which month it is. But anyway, <clears throat> this. Uh, uh, title is uh, the camel are coming the camels are coming on the 26th of march i received this prophetic word and in, and many times i i know that god he speaks to me in the morning very early where there's total peace and god he i can hear god he's speaking um so before I start, I just want to pray that every each one of you will um, take this to your heart and, and ask for confirmation about this. Thank you, Jesus, for, for this uh, podcast. I just want to pray in Jesus' name that every each one of those who are listening to the sound of my voice, that they, they will be blessed. And this, so also that uh, they can see that you are a good God. Father, I praise your name and I lift your name up, on, up high. I praise you, Lord. I praise you. Praise you, Lord, for my sisters and brothers, that they will receive healing. They, uh, they will receive deliverance. They will receive everything what you have for them. And every promises of what you have for them, they will be fulfilled in Jesus' name. Father, I pray and I speak speak life into their hearts and praise the lord that you will open their hearts to receive receive the message that you message of encouragement and hope in jesus name i pray i plead the blood of jesus i speak life i speak encouragement thank you lord that you we can take every uh, thoughts captive in jesus name everything that everything in judgment every weapon that is formed that is formed against us shall not prosper and you have given us the full armor of god thank you lord that you are the, you are the lord you are the same yesterday and today and forever thank you jesus that you are you are the the victor you are the hero you are king you are a, you are mighty in war and thank you jesus that you have won the victory in Jesus' name, I pray. Thank you, Lord, that you will speak through me, help me to to deliver this message. That those who are listening to to this message, that they will they will be able to receive it, and also to add this to their life. And thank you, Lord, for for listening to our prayer. In Jesus' name, I pray. Yeah. <clears throat> so uh, the camels are coming. My children, let me remind you about Isaiah 60. Your long-awaited heritage and provision is near. My children, I am your insurance. I am sh I am a sure thing uh, that is a rock that is rock solid. My words are for sure. My promises are for sure. Heaven and earth can be shaken, but my words cannot be shaken because my kingdom is unshakable. Not even a little comma will be changed in my words, and it will not fall to the ground, and it will produce what I have said. Yes, shakings and eruption, famine and pestilence, uh, pestilence is on the earth. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Will shake the ungodly and uh, the unrighteous governments. I will remove leaders in every country, in every nation on the face of the earth. Um, my children, I am your Redeemer. I am your salvation. I am your justice. I am your righteousness. I am your vengeance. I am your king. And I am your best friend. My children, the camels and your provisions are coming together with my glory. 
My kingdom glory will be seen on my children of obedience who have not defiled themselves with this world. Some of you are asking me, why it, uh, does it take so long before I will intervene? You are my rem uh, remnants and I am that I am are a consuming fire like the days of my servant Moses. My children, I will speak that I, I was, my children will speak that I speak and I um, want you to act like I will act. You will hate what I hate and love what I love. I am your pillar of fire in the night and I am your pillar of clouds in the daytime. When I move, you move. When you stop, you will stop. Just like in the, in the days of Moses, my servant. And um, God, he says that he will give us and he will bring us this uh, wealth transfer uh, as he had promised his, uh, his children. But this, this kind of exodus is uh, much greater than the former because this time, this is the whole world that is, um, that needs to be set free from the, from the bondage of uh, this system, this uh, Nesafarian uh, system, ba this Babylonian uh, Masonic system. They have put all, all people uh, captive with CPR numbers and and everything what you everything is re registered you have you have your CPR number and and uh, you are a number and and this is what the system make you but he said God says that he will deliver you and because this system is uh, is is um, created they are creating uh, the debt uh, on you so you ha have to go to work and 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 slave for the system but God he says that he will set you free from the bondage and he will set his his children free and how how will he do this he will give us the silver and the gold because God he says that the silver and gold is mine and he, the Proverbs 13 says that the uh, the wealth of the sinners is stored up for the righteous. So the, this great exodus that is coming, he will, it will come in the near near future. And I believe, um, if you are, are following Bo Polney from the United States, and uh, I, I think he's really uh, anointed to be the sons of Issachar because the sons of Issachar knows the, the time and the season in in God's timing, and we. As a, a children of God, we have to know God's timing. Otherwise, we will miss the appointed time. God, uh, God, he says the camels are coming. Camels are the picture of provision. In the times of uh, Abraham and um, Noah and, and, and also when you read the Old Testament, you can see the camels, but still camels today are still the the symbol of provision because I know in the Arab countries they 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 still they're still uh, what do you call um, they transport their uh, the things on the camels. Camels are a picture of of provision, and God He will provide for you. I have experienced in my own life that God He will provide in the most <laughs> impossible situation. <clears throat> one night uh, or one uh, winter or December, uh, when one of uh, one our children they were small, they we just moved into a big house together with Sharon's my husband's family, and uh, we had no money, nothing. It is it cost a lot when you when you move uh, into a, a new place and um, and it costs a lot of money and uh, we. We didn't have any money for for the food or f for the uh, for the winter, so <clears throat> so I, my husband and I, we start to pray that the, that God He will provide the the food for us. So we ask God Him to provide the food for us uh, for the winter and the Christmas and and uh, one night uh, somebody knocked uh, at our door and we say and said <laughs> and we saw. Uh, some sisters from Aglow, 
uh, at that time. It is many years ago. I think um, it was in uh, in ninety. It was in ninety uh, uh, ninety three. Actually, this year, our eldest daughter Joy, she was she was born because I remember it was <laughs> it was uh, quite quite a uh, quite a, a difficult time uh, in many ways, but. Uh, we trust in, in Jesus. So we pray, Jesus, uh, can you help us uh, with this? Uh, can you provide for us, for, for our family, so we can have food uh, on our table? And uh, one night, somebody was knocking at, at the door and say, Hey, is that you, Meta? And the, it was two sisters, they, they came to our door and said, it, We felt that we should uh, drive into your your house and uh, what are you doing here Mette? and we told them that we just moved into this house and we yeah a lot of things and and they say you know uh, it's Christmas and uh, every year we have these packages big boxes of food and uh, it, it was just amazing because before before these two sisters came my uh, my sister-in-law or yeah I, I say my sister-in-law she she said um, <clears throat> yeah she was like uh, mocking us and I said you know I, I'll pray to God I've been praying to God that uh, I will receive red flowers because I you will know when we we will receive this food that it is God who have sent this. So I told this before uh, these two sisters came to our door. So th these two sisters, they, they came and uh, they came with a big box of food and it was it was really awesome. And before they went out and one of her, uh, the sisters in the Lord, she said, hey, by the way, Meta, I have something for you. And there was a big box of red flowers and it was so significant. It was so. It was a miracle, and God, He can provide in the most difficult situations. Said, so I just want to encourage you with this testimony that God, He hears your prayer, and everything what you experience. That maybe sometimes you feel that God, He, do you listening? Are you listening, God? He, He is listening. God, He have heard your prayers. He lives inside of you, those who believe in Jesus. You, my brothers and sisters, you will be assured of when you ask God for something, He will always answer. And I, one thing I, I have also learned during the time is that no is an, also an answer. So, but I would say God, He can provide for us. And when it comes to the need, everything because God he is he is uh, our provider he is our he is our redeemer he is our salvation he is our justice he is our, our he he is uh, our provider and he is a father and he is our best friend and this is what he is and he is m much more he's more than enough so i i have been living I don't know how many years with with Jesus. Yes, uh, I I received Jesus in 1989. I got born again in this year, in that year, and um, I've never been disappointed. Never. I could give God everything, and of course, it is uh, sometimes difficult to walk with Jesus, and you have to learn a lot of things. But no matter what, God is still faithful, and He's faithful to you and me. When we put our trust in Him, and we are not leaning on our own understanding, and we put all our trust in Him, He will provide. He's, he is what He says He is. I am that I am. He is a consuming fire. He's, he's holy. But know this that He cares for you, even the smallest thing, even the smallest thing, 
one day I, I was uh, I was working, and um, I was uh, working as um, as a healthcare, and I said to I was just thinking it, I had this in my thought, I wish I had more hours, so I could earn more. So my company they called me, and said, Hey medic, can you take uh, eight more hours on that day? So actually I have like a. 12 hours I work in that day but it was okay <laughs> before I, I before I was thinking of asking God to uh, to give me more hours they called me before I could even say it so you see God he he knows our thoughts and what is inside of us he he can provide and um, I would say in in Psalm 139 it's a perfect psalm to 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 read if you are not sure of what you are in Jesus and what you're worth God he he sees your worth before he have known you before you were born he he had counted all your days and he have seen everything so read I, I will recommend you to read um, Psalm 139 over and over and over again until you will you will see that that it will build a faith in you that you are you're born because you you are worth being loved you you are worth being loved because you're wonderful mate God he says in his own word you're wonderful mate even though you feel uh, so many times maybe you're you uh, you feel insecure and you you feel ugly or, or many things that negative thoughts that you maybe you're thinking I've been thinking that too that's why I can share my um, um, my experience uh, about this but God I know that in the beginning of my walk I was so insecure I have no I have no confidence. But God, He gave me first confidence in Him, and He said, He said to me, "Learn about Me, and how will I learn about God's uh, nature and character? Is by reading the Word of God. So I can always point back to the Word of God, and it will, it will bless you. It will bless you. Just let Him in." And give him also a chance to work inside your heart, because, like, like I said, it's a heart's part a posture, and he will help you to forgive if you have any grudge against anyone, or if you have unforgiveness. Or, or I have experienced many times when when I when I have something in my heart that God he he can say, Mede, you have this against or you have sinned and and my I know my conscience I'm um, in my spirit that I have to give this to God and if there's something I ha I, um, I have to repent from speak to God and say rep I repent from my sin uh, my pride or anything I will rep repent from it and if I ask you Jesus for forgiveness and he will forgive me so um, there's a way out of, of in the most of uh, the most impossible situations so I'll pray I just end this because the provision is coming the provision is coming even though you are in the, the most impossible situation the provision and help will come in the right time at the right season for the right uh, reason God he, he is listening to you Father, in the name of Jesus, everything what I have said and uh, what I have shared, also for testimony, that you will bring hope for those who have listened to, to this testimony. That you will help us, that help my sisters and brothers, and me too, and my family, for, to, to understand what you have to say uh, in this time. Thank you, Jesus, that you are, you are so amazing, that you love us, that you love us and you will not never forsake us of or, or leave us because your your words are are for sure 
you 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 are you are our security lord you are our foundation you are everything what we need and may you be you may you feel everything in our lives and we will be less thank you jesus that you take all the glory take all the glory for yourself in jesus name i pray and thank you jesus for for the fellowship and if you have any prayer request just uh, write to me and i'll pray for you and may god bless you you are blessed to be a blessing and have a nice day have a wonderful day in jesus name bye